My question was, how are African Americans affected by the Civil Rights Movement? The Civil Rights Movement was a time of struggle for social justice, which took place during the 1950s to 1960s for blacks to gain equal rights under the laws in the U.S. During this time, many African Americans faced prejudice and were stereotyped for the color of their skin and the culture they came from. Stimulus material that supports this topic is MLK's letter from Birmingham Jail and Bob Dylan's song, Blowing in the Wind. Martin Luther King stated, if we waited more than, we've waited more than 340 years for our constitutional and God-given rights. We still creep at horse pace at horse and buggy pace towards gaining a cup of coffee at the at a lunch counter. This line from the letter talks about how after all this time, African Americans still don't have the equal rights they deserve, and how although it seems like it may never happen for them to get equal rights, they still pace themselves closer, still in hopes to gain them. Bob Dylan's one of Bob Dylan's lyrics that supports this topic is, how many roads must a man walk down before you can call him a man? This lyric from, hit from the song is saying, how many steps or boundaries must African Americans take towards equality until they are seen as equals? A first-hand account of an African American who was stereotyped and faced prejudice during the Civil Rights Movement is Rosa Parks. During this time, segregation laws said blacks must sit in designated seats at the back of the bus. In Montgomery, Alabama, after work, she got on a bus and sat in the section for black people. A white man got on the bus and couldn't find a seat in the white section, and Rosa Parks and three other blacks were instructed to move and give up their seats. Parks was arrested because she refused. This shows that African American culture is being stereotyped and facing prejudice during the Civil Rights Movement and how Rosa Parks, an African American, was being instructed to move out of her seat for a white man on a bus that was divided based off of the color of her skin. Solutions to inequality would be both sides have equal legal status, economic opportunity, and powers. Both sides have opportunities to work and socialize together formally and informally. This will give both of the groups to come about their differences and find a way to work together. And limitations for these solutions is you can't force a person to do something they don't want to do, and everyone has different thoughts and beliefs on different topics and won't do something that they feel is morally incorrect. It is clear that the Civil Rights Movement was a hard time and a, a massive struggle for African American people, but it is also a part of history that has helped evolve us evolve from the past ideas and has helped us help us learn from our country's past mistakes. Although equality is still a struggle today, we have come a long way from where we used to be. Okay, a couple of questions for you, Ella. The first one is, how did you select the strategies you used to gather information or conduct research, and were they effective? Um, I came about all my evidence by um, past history classes and learning about how African Americans were really affected before now and I wanted to focus mainly on civil rights because there was a lot of evidence and first-hand accounts that I could use. Okay, and then your second one would be um, how does your conclusion respond to any of the other research or sources that you examined? Like what you said in your conclusion, how does that kind of match up to anything else that you read, like throughout your research or other what other people had concluded themselves? It was similar that they were really affected.
expected and just by looking through all the sources it's shown that we've come from so far from where we used to be and while it is like still a problem today it isn't as as bad as it was okay